Hi guys, today we are getting sir to talk to us from the other side of the table. Sir, today we are not sitting from the student's point of view on the other side of the table, we are with us. So we want to understand from the interview point of view. So what exactly are you looking for? So as an interviewer, so is there any kind of a set rules? Okay, I want, I'm ch ch checking student on this, this, this thing, or you just go with the, uh, go with the interview, interview with that student. I'll just see how it he, he or she is and then maybe choose him. So is there any, any kind of a rules about your MBA, uh, the way you choose students? Um, as such, there are some criteria, but if you see the essence of what we want in a student to join ISBR, the criteria is very simple. Students should be ambitious and hardworking with sincerity and seriousness. If they're ambitious, they can go beyond the classrooms. They can focus on developing their interpersonal skills and skills which are beyond academics. Right. And the responsibility and the ownership of learning is a lot on the students. So we need active students who are not just limited to the classrooms, but they're dynamic. They go out of the class. They do networking. They organize the events themselves, they are active in clubs and committees and they lead, become a leader and a team player very soon after joining. But what we want in the students is the willingness to do these things. Initially, students may not be very much expert in all these things, Correct. but if the willingness to learn and willingness to go there is there, then we can groom them. Correct. So the intention sincerity ambition and willingness is the first thing we look into the students right the second thing we look into that is basically called the rigor there may be willingness in many students but if the history tells us if their previous record tells us that they're not hard working they have not achieved well in their academics because they are lazy in that case we are careful with those students so the previous record of the student always tells us about their performance and performance is directly related to how much they are capable or how much they want to do something, how much they can work on. So that also shows us the sincerity and the effort students do. Right. So there should be an evidence of efforts and uh, willingness, sincerity. Right. So, uh if I give you a, a simple example, so I don't have much very, very good academic records and I've not done much in my previous history. So right now we are in uh, December. So interviews are normally in Jan, 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 Feb, March, we have the interviews. So anything you can recommend me, I can build my profile on, like I can do courses. If I do some courses, a couple of internships, will that help me bridge that gap you talked talk, talk, talk about or still I will be in the same zone only can I, you are not that great. So as I said, if during the interview it is clear that you are willing to put the efforts, you will be through. How can you show the willingness? You can show the willingness by doing something obviously, right? So maybe you can do some courses which shows the willingness of you becoming excellent in something. For example, you can do a course on teamwork, you can do a course on digital marketing. Correct. So many free courses which are available. So it shows that the student is already learning is eager to learn. That is why the free courses are being done by the students. That is one important thing, right? Correct. Another is that if you already know a little bit about the business management, if you know about the institution, if you've done some research work about what it entails to be a successful graduate in PGDM and MBA, it means you have done some groundwork. It means you are sincere. So you have to do some kind of research and gather some knowledge about the program, about the field, and if you can show the willingness in that manner with some research and some groundwork, you will be a preferred candidate for us then. Correct. So I have one more question. Like if someone without any work experience is applying and as an interview, you ask him okay, why you don't have work ex or why you don't want to wait. Is it okay to answer from the institute point of view that in your college, 40%, let's say 40% of students don't have any work ex. So, and college appreciate these kind of students because they want to mold or they want to train them for the corporate life. Mm -hmm. So is this kind of answer where we shows I have done the research about the college. 
which kind of a cover my uh, gap as well because i have i don't have any work ex so these kind of answers does is okay to give in the interview yes see this is a program where we admit students of both the types Correct. experienced students and pre experienced students pre experienced means without experience right so if the students are willing to learn and they can show some evidence of gathering information sincerity they have done some research work it means they are ready to put their efforts even without experience they are valuable candidates for us correct and if students have experience we generally in the interview talk about their experience and we want to gather their insights and their learning from the experience and how they can they translate that experience and the learning after or during the pgdm program to their advantage correct. right so both type of students are welcome at isb are here correct correct so workex student have that one small advantage that their interview will be related to workex more towards workex so that at least i'm feeling safe because i have done something so i can talk about that easily sir one last question is always said the first impression is a last impression so the moment the student enter the class the, that interview room how much percentage of the interview is over how much percentage of that convincing is done from your side that is good or bad is that a number of they 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 should have a number but if i ask you for to give a it's, number it's a good question 30% 20% maybe yeah. 50 depends actually it depends a lot uh, of course first impression has a good weightage but generally it is not a last impression correct there are many cases we have seen where students first impression is not good but during the interview the impression gets built up the student may not be very confident at the time of the entry but the student feels confident after 5 minutes of discussion and the students perform well so we should not be worried about first impression what we should be more worried about how are we preparing how we put our points forward how much thinking we are doing before answering the question and how much prepared we are by doing the background work all the preparations like knowledge about the general affairs current affairs knowledge about the field career clarity about the goal of the student if these things are in place that is more important than creating a first impression by walking in some way or by dressing up these are important correct but these are not having a very not a deal maker or deal no, breaker these are these are not deal breaker or deal maker correct it's more about what is there in the student which they can express that is more valuable for us correct so after all do you feel like indian teams even though your first few batsmen got out early the way india india did with australia yeah. but if you perform better if you start performing well the interview you can still survive so in case you had a bad start in the interview don't worry about that yes. you can still make a yes. comeback into this yeah the focus should be at this point of time for the students is to prepare well be clear about what they want to do be clear about the areas be clear about the different types of jobs which are available are they really interested and uh, do some research now at this point of time talk to the seniors talk to those who are already mbas uh, talk to those who are studying mba and get the clarity about what it takes to be a successful mba graduate and what are the things they can do during pgdm how can they contribute to the institution is one important question sometimes right yes. because we also want students to be active there are many students in last 10 years they of the isbr the students have contributed to the institution in many ways so those kind of students we we think they can be ambassador they can contribute to the institution we prefer those kind of students correct right. so participate as much as you can so we never know which which activity you have done early life will help you to get to the mba college good mba college great sir thank you sir thank you very much thank you